Hello, the fellow YouTubers. This is Reagan here, and today I have with me my fidget collection that I will share with you and personal recommendations that I would make for uh, each one and what they're good for, what they're not so great for, that kind of stuff. Um, so I will first start out with the octopus, which you probably remember from my previous video. Now, don't get me wrong. These little guys are freaking adorable. They are so cute. The problem is they just don't last. That's the one thing that I've discovered. Now, mine's lasted, obviously, because I'm not handling it constantly. I, you know, I put it in my room as a nice little cute ornament just to kind of look at and, you know, smile at, that kind of stuff. Sometimes I put it in my car and use it in there so I can kind of watch it wiggle around ever so little bit. But as far as, like, an actual, like, stress ball, probably not appropriate, to tell you the truth. Um, as I work with, uh, kids and I gave it to the group that I work with, I got, you know, some for them and they were pretty much just done within like, most likely is most likely a series of days. They either popped or they lost their, their mantle, lost their shape from being squeezed so excessively. Um, so word of advice, if you're looking for like a, like a stress ball, this is not it. No, mm -mm. garbage. That is complete garbage. Now, the Rubik's Cube, which is, you know, not meant to be squeezed, but you can, you know, turn it, shift it, all sorts of different ways. Um, you can even go this, shoot, this way with them. And the, the idea of the Rubik's Cube is to get, like, all the colors the same like that. This is what I accomplished all by myself. And I was making progress with the white just a little bit. Um, and it's, it's, they're fun to play with. Um, some people may find them frustrating, though, because it is hard to get them to where they're not, you know, tricky. But it's a Rubik's Cube, that's kind of the purpose of them because they're made to enhance the brain, so to speak. So they're more for that use than anything else. They're not, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily consider a Rubik's, a Rubik's Cube a stress toy, but more of like a fidget kind of thing, just something to kind of mess with. Um, moving on from the Brooks Cube, we have the um, two gumdrops that I have sitting right here. Now, these by far have been my favorite. I mean, you can literally squeeze these and squeeze these, and they will last forever if they're proper, properly taken care of. Um, because I personally love things that I can just, like, squeeze and get my hands on and these to have like a very satisfying feel um I personally will probably get more of these simply because I like them so much and I love the way they feel and I like the you know the little knobby structure basically like a traditional gumdrop I like these a lot and it's by Nito, and it's got, like, the name right there in the middle, as so on the other one. And one thing that's my favorite about these is, like, look, you can squeeze it, and it literally returns to its natural form. So much fun to play with, so much fun to watch. Um, but the problem with any squishy fidget or stress ball in general though is unfortunately they don't last forever so it's important to have multiple of them so god forbid one does break you have other ones you can fool around with I got two one for each hand but one thing I discovered is that well, with these in particular is if you like squeeze it and you like rotate it around 
you don't have to worry about the seal as much, but if you're like doing hard squeezes, I would recommend this palm in so it does not take the impact. I mean, uh, it absorbs impact, impact, excuse me. Because if you squeeze it like that, like where this is like being squeezed outward, that's putting pressure down here and you're more than likely gonna get it popped that way. See, me personally, I don't necessarily use stress balls every single day, but if I get in a mood and I just wanna squeeze something, it's there. Um, but because of how often that I am using it, well, lack thereof, I should say, these will probably last me for a long time, for a few years or so. These will, probably. But I know one thing. If I used this, squeezed this like I have been squeezing this, this thing would have popped already. It would have been done. Um, but these are great. And one thing I've read up on these is they're, they're filled with like a non-toxic um, gel, according to a website that I read. But still, you don't want these around children that's going to bite them. I mean, why even deal with that in general, you know? But otherwise, great for anybody that just wants something to squeeze and has something satisfying. Because I love these. And they're also kind of weighted too, which I love. And, you know, as far as recommendations go, like, the octopus I would recommend, like, if someone just wants something to squeeze, like, hold in their hands a few minutes and then set it down and then use it as, like, a fun room, decoration, office, car, whatever, this is fine. Perfectly great. Something to touch every once in a while. The Rubik's Cube is more... Uh, for stimulating the mind. So if you've got like a kid at home that's, you know, just, I guess like real smart or something, but they need something to kind of mess around with to kind of keep their mind sharp and keep them, you know, their brain in tune, so to speak, this is great. Perfect. Um, these like perfect for, literally perfect for everyday use as well. Uh, just just keep in mind the little seal that's down here. It's it's the most sensitive spot on a squishy. And if you notice, the octopus has it too. It has it as well. Um, the seal is always the most sensitive part. And another thing is when you're kind of done using it for a while and you're not going to be um, touching it the rest of the day, the rest of the week, or however often it is you use it, I would strongly recommend cleaning them because they get, they get gross. I mean, they can get flat out nasty and disgusting if you don't clean them. Um, because dust particles and things like that get on these very easily. And guess what else? If particles are sticking to these, most likely germs are too. So keeping these clean is most definitely important. And these have just gotten dirty from me handling them. Not by my skin per se, but this is a, you know, it's a soft mat and it's got like fuzzies and things like that, which is going to get a dirty, a squishy dirty in a matter of seconds, literally. So whenever you're not using a squishy in general, um, just clean it up. Soap and water, nothing fancy, simple. Same applies to the octopus, just clean it up. And of course the Rubik's Cube, I mean, you can wash it if you want to, but it doesn't get dirty that bad because it's solid. It's not uh, sticky, like, well, not sticky, it's not, it's not squishy. But anyway, um, but yeah, but I would definitely recommend the gumdrops for like daily use, just um, use it with somewhat care. You don't have to be as careful with these as the octopus, but it still has a weak point on it. So just keep that in mind. And mine, I think mine will last a very long time simply because I don't use them all the time. But for people that do, just have multiple on hand because I'm telling you, it's going to be depressing the day that it bursts or gets the day these burst or get ruined. Same with this one here. And you don't have it anymore. And then you're like, 
I need my squishy, I'm stressed, blah, 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 whatever the situation is. So just keep that in mind. And I plan to, like I say, I plan to get more of these. I get, I plan to get the whole set eventually because I like them a lot. So out of my entire collection, these are my favorites. And, you know, you've probably figured that out by now. Um, but anywho, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it's been helpful for you and, you know, that you can find joy in whatever one you pick. And for now, I shall see y'all later. God bless. Bye.